<laughs> Salutation citizens, Jackman here, and we are back in Raccoon City with Resident Evil 3. And it's kind of a weird this choice that they're using live action footage in modern history. for the opening. That's kind of weird. Authorities are bracing for more rioting. But okay. He was knocked unconscious in the uh, Mostly, I think the weirdest thing CDC is about this is that it's 1998, and you know, the film quality in 1998 wasn't that good. So this doesn't look like it's in 1998. These are the core values that create the foundation for Umbrella. This is an interesting opening. So, yes, we're playing Resident Evil 3. This um, foundation I'm very excited. Not as excited as I was to play Resident Evil 2. Us. Resident Evil 2 is um, is my baby. Resident Evil 3. Oh, they're building Nemesis. Ah. Interesting. Anyway, Resident Evil 3. I don't know as well. So, um, it, more stuff will come as a surprise to me. Also, interestingly, because apparently some people got this game early. Um, some of the stuff I do remember about Resident Evil 3 isn't in the game anymore, so... It'd be interesting to see which bits are in the game that I do remember. Oh, okay, so they're transporting... Yeah, there's Nemi. They're transporting Nemesis out of the city and then he broke free? I guess we'll find out. I guess we'll find out. Here is Jill Valentine's apartment, circa 1998. I'm pretty sure Resident Evil 3 started with Jill just rolling out of a burning building, and that was it. It was just like, yeah, um, zombies happened, it's, um, everything's popping off, get to work. Oh, it's actually... ah. Oh. Good use of FF7's engine. Well, I mean, it's all FF7? That's not the one. Resident Evil 7. Sorry, my copy of Final Fantasy 7 arrived at the same time as my copy of Resident Evil 3, so I've got it on the brain. It's sat there installing on my PlayStation at the moment. Um, good use of the... I, yeah, I mean, yeah, Resident Evil 2 used the Resident Evil 7. Uh, oh, they killed him! Yay! Oh, I hope that book appears in every single game. Using the Resident Evil, uh, the, this. Uh, oh my beret! Oh, sorry, I'm getting distracted while talking. I hope that that they killed him appears in every single Resident Evil game from now on. I I, I like looking out for it. This is a interesting TV channel Jill's into, but she's you know got some interesting choices of decor. And here's her conspiracy wall. Where she does her conspiracy theories. Is that a net? I think there might be a net. And is that. Is that? That's not Chief. No, that's not Brian Irons. I don't know who that is. She looks like he's being arrested. And that's just a lovely photo she's taken of a zombie. Um, not a lot of options when it comes to clothes. That's fine. Let's see if I can see. So I guess Joe doesn't. Yeah, Joe doesn't know. Can I zoom? Oh, I want to. When they build, when they build a room like this, and I know that this is the only part of the game that's in first person, I want to just look around at stuff. So I think that's a photo of Chris on the left. And maybe a photo of Rebecca? And my dog. There's my dog. I'm pretty sure that dog appears... Well, I get to go to Raccoon um, RPD later on, so I'll, I, I can check. But I'm pretty sure that dog is on Jill's desk. And that's the photo from the... I think the instruction manual? For, like, the director's cut of Resident Evil 1? Oh, that's a nice cool... That's, like, that's Stars, Bravo, and Alpha Team. Oh, I just want to look at all this stuff. This is going to be... I thought I'd locked an achievement for just staring at the wall there, but no, it's just Resident Evil Resistance is finished downloading. Good. 
weird that I have clothes on the bed, implying that I undressed, but then I slept in different clothes. I guess Jill's just a bit of a slob. Not that I can, you know, pot kettle black. I'm a massive slob, but... She doesn't, she doesn't refrigerate her jam. What kind of monster is she? just <laughs> also just toasts a slice of bread and then goes to bed. And again, I've done that. I've done that Moon's Donuts. Because she's a cop. Lots of Moon's Donuts. Okay, she's big on the Moon's... Oh, she's big on the Donuts. Are these new photos or are these just the same photos as before? I think these are different photos. It's just... Oh no, no, that is, that's the same photo as before. So I guess these must be, yeah, because that's just the dog, so that must be Jill with her dog. So I'm guessing these are just photos of the motion capture. <sighs> I don't know why, the, it's a, it's a high-definition high game, why they still think they can get away with putting in blurry notes on the wall. I want to read everything. I want to spend, like... 45 minutes in this room not doing anything, just reading all of the things. Fine, let's go to the bathroom. Oh, there's me. Uh, there's not much going on in the bathroom, really. Got my, my, my essentials, the gun, toothpaste, toothbrush. So this will probably trigger everything popping off. Oh, am I bleeding? Oh. Oh, I'm having a nightmare. Just... Where, where's some herbs? How have you not got any herbs just hanging around? I mean, even for a zombie, Jill look, still looks... You know... He still looks good. And that's Resident Evil 3. Like, it's worse every night. I need to have a look at it, but I love how she's got Escape Raccoon City. Three more days, then I can kiss this town goodbye. Oh, okay, so she's literally... I guess she's got a transfer. Um, <clears throat> pending. I do apologise. I have recently recovered from my uh, losing my voice. So I am a, I am a bit croaky. I'm, most, I'm like 99% there, but my voice just, um, yeah, will occasionally will occasionally blip like that. So apologies in advance for my fragile mortal shell. So why is my bedroom... Why was the bedroom in my dream so different to the actual bedroom? Like, I mean... Yeah, there's a lot of pills. I mean, most of it's still there. I've still got my beret. I've still got my cop car. I've still got, as soon as it loads in, my copy of They Killed Him. Um, my posters are the same, yeah. Let's take some pills. Too many pills. Yeah. Just, like I said, just get some green herbs. You know firsthand how well those work, Jill. What's going on out there? Oh, that's the lady from the opening. Hmm. Why she got these files? Federal Bureau of Investigation. Okay. So I guess Star's just, just like, hey, can I get some FBI files? It's like, yeah. Why not? Alright, let's look at my conspiracy wall. Jules report. September 26, 1998. It's already been two months since that mess with Umbrella. Thanks to the suspension, investigations haven't progressed exactly as I'd hoped. Perhaps this written record of what I found will prove to be my final duty as a Star's officer. I can only hope that it helps lead to the truth. The T-Virus. 
Those infected by this virus seem to become literal zombies. It appears to be communicable via several different avenues outlined below. Bite from an infected individual, allowing the mixing of bodily fluids. Contact with crows, which have eaten... Specifically crows! No pigeons! No pigeons can carry the virus! Only crows! Contact with crows, which have eaten an infected carrion. Due to the strength of the virus, airborne infection cannot be discounted. It should be noted that those who survived the incident have not yet developed symptoms. It's unclear whether this is because the virus has a long incubation period, or because we just happen to be resistant to the infection. We ought to remain vigilant, even after this investigation period ends. As for me, aside from my minor difficulties, sleeping, I seem to be in fine shape. Still, I shouldn't get too hopeful. After all, this could just be an extended incubation. Yes, it's never really explained why none of the... Resident Evil protagonists, apart from the one, the, the handful that do, oh, it's windy. Apart from the handful that do get infected, why the handful of Resident Evil protagonists never get infected? But um, I guess just in canon, they never get bitten, and maybe bit being bitten is the only way to get infected. But Pharmace Umbrella Pharmaceuticals Company, industry leader and market share, focuses on military weapons development while maintaining cover as a pharmaceutical company, also secretly developing bioweapons. T virus outbreak at Arkley Mountains Research Facility, pred predicated at the Mansion Institute. I suppose they should still be in Jill's voice. That is my Jill voice, by the way. Conspiring with Raccoon City leadership, large donation to Major Warren's office effectively controls the city. I think she's got Umbrella with a question mark. Were they? I think it was pretty obvious that Umbrella was was the masterminds behind the Arkley Mountain incident. I thought that was quite like I thought that was. I thought that was reasonably clear. Uh, I guess this is Jill. They've got me pinned down at home. Guys across the street are watching me from the window 24-7. Are they irons as men? Umbrellas? I don't know and there's no real difference anyway. I don't know what they're trying to do. They want to wear me down, torment me into compliance and it's working. I'm barely eating, barely sleeping. I'm going crazy. I feel like the living dead. But I won't let them win. I have to get out of the city and find a way to make them accountable. They'll send someone to silence me, of course. If you hear that I've been killed, or whatever it is they do to people like me, you must pick up the investigation where I left off. I've enclosed my files. They'll tell you everything you need to know as long as this package isn't intercepted. I'll be moving out at night, five days. Wish me luck. Okay, so I, Jill was gonna pass the file off. Probably to Chris. Jill and Chris. BFFs. And only that. No one in Resident Evil ever, you know, ever bumps uglies. Except... Maybe Leon and Ada? It was implied in one of the movies? I can do nothing here. This is just... I can just have a glimpse into um, Jill's eating habits, which apparently includes raccoon milk. Mm -mm. It's, it's difficult. It's difficult because they've got very tiny nipples. But if you can get a whole... If you can get purchase on them, and you can fill a whole two-litre jug of, of milk, or oh, there's nothing like it. There's nothing like it. I did not think I'd be talking about tiny raccoon nipples in this playthrough, but here we are. Message from a colleague. Did Jill... Va Hang on, let me just see. Uh, it's Brad. Uh, to Jill Valentine. Hey, hotshot, how you holding up? I still can't believe Iron suspended you. It's such bullshit. He ought to pin a medal on you for making out of that hellhole back in July. Of course you're going to poke around and ask questions about it. I hope you're not mad at me for keeping my head down. Everything's been happening so fast. Stars was the prize of the force. When the chief disbanded us out of nowhere, I thought for sure I was going to lose my job. Word has it you're planning to leave Raccoon City. I figured you wouldn't take the suspension lying down. Just promise to watch your back. Umbrella won't sit by while you try to dismantle their business. Take care, Jill. Brad. I like that Brad, I like that Brad Vickers signs off. Brad Vickers, stars Alpha Team. It's just like, I know who you are, Brad. Now and forever. P.S. Had to slip this message to the pizza guy to avoid detection. Enjoy the extra large Mega Meat Supreme. It's on me and the guys. And she did eat quite a lot of it. And with soup. Or maybe she was eating soup, and then the pizza came up, and she went, Screw this soup, I'm eating pizza. Right, I think I've clicked on everything that I can click on. I'm just going to give a, give the room one final one final little sweep. It's a shame I can't click on my little beret. Just be like, reminds me of good times. Or bad times, I suppose, you know. She wore the beret. Then maybe that was the first day she wore that beret. And then it was like, yeah, no, I wore it once and then decided, I no. Where's my light switch? Oop. 
How dangerous is it to have a light switch across the room? You could trip over, bang your head, trip over, catch your head on the counter. Hey, I'm wearing my actual clothes now. Feels really bad at just like letting you leaving water running though. Just like I need the sound of water to make it to get me to fall asleep now. I'm constantly pissing myself in my sleep, but it's the only way. Oh, we've gone third person. Alright, the game started. It's only twenty minutes. Look at that. Uh. Phone, phone, phone. All right, I'm coming. Hello? Jill, are you, are you okay? Brad, is that you? Listen, you gotta get out of there. What are you talking about? I don't have time to explain. You gotta get out of there right <coughs> now. All right, let me grab my... No! Oh. No, I mean right now. There's literally a dude who's about to punch your wall in. Oh, it's the trash man. He's literally got, like, he, I love that he, when he shows up, he's got his face covered in trash bag as well. Oh. My conspiracy wall. That's where I keep my conspiracies. Ah, oh, dang it. What hell is that thing? Oh, time to run away. At least this one doesn't have a giant claw. <sighs> Leave me alone, trash man. <clears throat> There's just a guy behind me just like, uh, hang on, sorry. What are you doing in my room? Oh, no, okay, I don't have, I don't have infinite time. Wait, hang on, isn't that my... My house is on fire. Oh, that dude. So yeah, I shouldn't stop and gawk it. Ah, dang it! How can you tell where I am? You got a trash bag on your head. Oh, that's not... I am very curious, and I don't know, think it will be. Ex oh, okay. Well, that's one way to open the door. It was very, very curious how Brad was just like, yeah, I, I know that that dude was was on his way. Ah, oh, dang it! You're gonna keep doing this, aren't you? You're gonna keep showing up when I'm just feeling like I'm gonna just need to click on this ladder here. Trying really hard to kill me. I've already hurt my leg. We're off to a really bad start here. So that this is I think, more or less where Resident Evil 3 starts with Jill rolling out of a burning building, and then it's just like whoa. I like that they've retconned it that it was it was Nemesis that was chasing her. He's going to smash through a wall. Oh, no, I'm just getting an achievement. Thirst escape. Jill? Hey, Brad. Brad. I was just in the area. Okay. What was that thing? Tim to find that. But right now it's got a hard on for the only two stars left in town. You and me. I'm not sticking around. Just look around you. The longer we wait, the more screwed we are. I like he's got a single glove. This all happened so fast. I don't know why. It know. just tickles me. One fucked up thing always leads to another. Have you got any herbs or a fade spray? I'm really I'm really jacked up right now. Hey, hey wait! Down here! Damn it. Okay, I've started to started to loosen up a little bit. How could this many people be infected? 
I do like Brad. So like, you barely see him in Resident Evil 1. He's, uh... I can't do my active dodge yet. Oh, chicken heart. You don't really see him much in Resident Evil 1, because he's in the helicopter. Oh, come on, Brad, really? That, that quickly? It's probably a good thing you did stay in the helicopter in uh, in Resident don't Evil 1 because you it's just, you're, no, I don't. you're terrible at zombies. You're worse than Joseph. Do me a favor. Don't fuck up like I do. Go! I'm sorry, Brad. Oh, I want to go back in there and check that hat out. And I saw a hat and a coat in the background. All right. We're still. Am I injured? I think I might be injured. I can't, it's not letting me check my inventory, so I don't know. Sorry. Oh, Brad, you had one job. Right. Oh, I probably don't have my knife yet, so... I'm just going to run away. I noticed there was a couple more zombies showing up behind there, and, uh, well, I, I can't imagine they've given me a huge... Yeah, they've given me three bullets, so <clears throat> that's probably just a waste. Hey. Just gonna leave. Okay. Promise you won't explode and crash at me. That seems to happen with helicopters. Sir, are you all right? Stay back. Don't come any closer. Okay. Hey, come on. There's a helicopter waiting to take you to safety. What's the name? I'm not going out there. Oh, is this dude? The garage isn't far. I can take The only it. safe place is in here. Can I come in then? Oh, come on. Sir, what's your name? I can't just leave you behind. It's Sario Rosso. And yeah, right. You just want to steal my safe house. Your safe house is the back of a Missy. truck. Missy? Would you please calm down? I'm a police officer. I'm here to help. <laughs> oh yeah, you've been doing a bang up job. You want to help? Go handcuff yourself to one of those freaks. I don't see how that's going to improve Sir, the situation. This is your last chance. No one else is coming for you. I'm not going anywhere. I'd rather starve to death in here than be eaten by one of those undead monsters. Honestly. Now leave me alone. Probably the same. Yeah, same. Um, fortunately, you even if you even if the zombies don't get you in there, um, you don't have to worry about starving to death. Um, no spoilers, but uh, yeah, that's not going to protect you against what's coming. But hey, you know, you do you, Dario. You do you. And gun ammo. Oh, I do have my knife. Cha. Good. Uh, I probably don't need to be in here anymore, do I? Can I? I don't have a map, so I can't check a map. Okay. I, I'm annoyed that I'm fine, but she's still holding her side like she's wounded. It's like, come on, Jill. Tough it out. Oh, dogs. Yeah, you're a thing, aren't you? Alright, well, leave me alone. Don't learn how to climb in the next couple of minutes, if that's okay. I was waiting so I could be spooky. I love the sort of uh, haunted house moments in, 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 in any horror game. Oh, he's not even there anymore. Where's he gone? Oh, there he is. He's like, well, I'm tired now. I mean, I could easily crawl through this gap and come and get to you, but I, I'm not going to. I've, I, I've done my, I've done my spooky bit. Yeah, I love the sort of haunted house bits in horror games where they're just like, oh, I was, I was hiding in a wardrobe for some reason. It's like, why, why would a zombie hide in a wardrobe? 
So I suppose you, I guess you could argue that he probably got infected, climbed into the wardrobe to hide, turned, and then was like, oh, I hear noise. Ah, oh, how did you open it? How did you activate the lift? Shit. Okay, uh, again, I'm not going to waste ammo. Other than the ammo I just wasted there. I shot your leg off. But you start growing legs back all of a sudden. I can't be dealing with that. I've got very few bullets and I need to conserve them. I've got a dodge as well, which I know from the demo. But yeah, it doesn't seem to have kicked in yet. So, it, my money's on Nemesis shooting it with a rocket ball does that. That's one of the things that Nemesis does. You know. But let's see. Oh! Uh. What did I say about exploding at me? Okay, I specifically said don't. And then you did. Dick. Yeah, there he is. Need this car. Are oh, we just going to run him over? Like, I probably don't need to hurry. Turn, damn it! It's my turn, bitch. Like I just literally plowed through a building, and you think that a car is going to stop me? I'm not wearing a seatbelt. This really, honestly, this really should have killed Jill more than it more than it ever killed Nemesis. Like I'm gonna need a lot. Yeah, exactly. I'm gonna need a lot of herbs. Oh yeah, your fa your your rubbish mask came off. Hey, fuck this. I caught it. Hey, Carlos, you can't have a rocket launcher already. This is a. You cheated. You've done things out of order. You didn't even say a cool line. Actually, no, he did say he did say a line. It wasn't cool, but he did say a line when he shot him. See, what's happened here is that's 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 the end part of Carlos's Resident Evil game that we never got. So that was his sort of final bit where he shows up with a rocket launcher and shoots the dude and says his little special catchphrase, and then it just sort of overlaps with the beginning of Jill's clear. one. I hope so. We've been bringing survivors here. Here where? My guys have converted some subway cars into a shelter. Oh, this is pretty much where the it's demo safe. starts. Okay, well, I suppose it's good that it was. It I'm makes fine. sense. It was quite early on. Personal space. Okay, I get it. Let's go. Oh, come on. Who's the dipshit to close this? I'm just going back up here. If that's okay. Sorry, we're gonna have to go around. I don't trust you. Hey, what do you know about that monster? I'm surprised it actually let me come all the way back up here. As far as it is. Um, not that there's anything up here to do. Really. Thought maybe there'd be a collectible. Is there something? Am I supposed to be. Like, they were Mr. Charlie statues in the demo. I wonder if they're in the full version. I thought there'd be at least a pickup up here. Oh, yeah, there are. Look at that. Go me. I'm the best. And that's an achievement. Hello, Charlie. Destroy a Charlie doll. Cool. I am not getting all of those. So, uh... Enjoy that, because it's not going to happen very often. 
And now that it's not advertising Resident Evil 3, although it's Air Combat 1942, that, I don't, that, that's Tom Clooney, Tommy Clooney, that is, I don't know how they managed to get away with that, but that, that is close. It's interesting that someone's taken like some of the stuff it's out no of this. Zombie. He knows what it wants and won't stop till it gets it. Don't you like that in a man? No thanks. He's all yours. Uh, <laughs> Listen, we're we're bantering because we're in a near the life or death situation. And it's the only way we can cope. Are you kidding me? Are you fucking kidding me? You guys are the ones who caused all of this. Whoa, 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 whoa. What are you talking about? Look, we're just here to help you. What's wrong with Umbrella? What's wrong with Umbrella? Oh my god. Your company is responsible for infecting everyone. Yeah. I don't know anything about all that. I mean, he, yeah, Carlos is literally the poster child me. for Lady, I just show. work here. You come in? You know. Come on. It's this way. Like he is very much a sort of I look, I I does it look like I have anything to do with any of there was a Mr. Charlie statue there in the demo I was just curious to see whether it was still there does it look like I have anything to do with oh Jesus party 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 oh, I like this one though call traditional Japanese restaurant will robots surpass humanity and lobster at Jim's Crabs I like that Jim's crab speciality is lobster and not crabs. That's pretty on the nose as well. Scott, I mean, that's ba that's just a Terminator. And that's a Xenomorph. They're really on the nose with these movie parodies. Oh, I just want to look at all of them. There's so many of them. Oh, no, they've started looping. Oh, no, no, there's some comic books. Look, look. Mega Man. Living Corpses, The Great Gladiator, Fighting Story, that's just Street Fighter. That's, that's just, it's like an Akuma-Ken hybrid. Okay. Uh, Piracy Under the Waves, Horror and Untold Tales. Feature, Feature Reptilian, not featuring, just Feature. Ugh. And Big E, back home for one night only. I love these posters. These are great. I can. I'm gonna look at. I'm. I know. I don't care. I'm gonna look at all of these when they show up. I wanna. I wanna look at all of the. I love. I love. Yes. Give me fake movie posters until I. I'm bored. Hey, Captain. <clears throat> this fine young lady could use our help. So I've seen this cutscene. But it's literally the only cutscene I've seen, pretty much. You didn't even think to ask fine young lady her name? She is an elite operative of RPD, Special Tactics and Rescue Service. Her name is something Valentine. It's Jill. And it's creepy that you nice know that. Nice to meet you, Jill. I am UBCS, platoon leader Mikhail Viktor. My team was sent so to rescue pretty cool. civilians. But he's, you know, he's right. dead. How's that going for you? The city is completely cut off, isolated. Most of the hundred thousand civilians will wind up dead. Uh, correction, undead. My platoon has suffered serious losses. Just keeping them alive is more than I can manage. Just keeping yourself alive well, is more you than you can manage. Well, you corporate overlords for that. Yes. Well, we are doing all we can. If we can get this subway train moving, we can evacuate some survivors. But we need help. My men cannot do this alone. They are woefully unpre unprepared for this. Like, we didn't even know Umbrella were the right. bad guys. I'm in. It's like if the, if the Nazis was just, uh, there's like a Nazi platoon that just went, Whoa, whoa, whoa! We did what? Hang on. When when did that happen? Just, well, I think, 
<laughs> yeah, again, Calvary. it's just the Mitchell and Webb. I think we might go. be the baddie sketch. You can use this to stay in contact. I know what a radio is. Okay, first things first. We need to get you geared up. All right, give me that gun. Head up to street level. You'll find supplies there. Just give me that gun. All right. I'll swap. I'll trade you. All right. There's new posters here. Although these are mostly the same poster over and over again, so there's not a huge amount to look at. But I am going to look at them. Dino bites, so tasty they might go extinct. Okay. Shit, Captain. Oh, was he Trump actually just spraying him with the first aid spray? Oh, cute. Yes, just parts of my small intestine. You know how it is. You don't need those. So long as I have my liver, so I can still process vodka. That's all I need. Is this the yes? This is the ammo crafting guide, which we know from playing Resident Evil 2 and the demo. You get gunpowder. You get gunpowder. You get bullets. You get gunpowder and special gunpowder. You get shotgun. You get special and special, you get magnum. That's how this cookie crumbles. What I want is a lot of shotgun ammo. Tabloid front page. The cannibal murderer... I've I've read this before in the demo, but I'll, I'll read it again for completion's sake. The cannibal murderer is a complete digest. In the grey of the morning on September 25th, a frantic caller telephoned the RPD to report an assault. A man described as disheveled, like a vagrant, was attacking a passerby north of the Lambs Museum of Art. The responding officers discovered the mutilated corpse of a woman by some dumpsters nearby. Dozens of bite marks covered her body and she'd been dismembered, suggesting she had been eaten. The third known instance of its kind to occur in Raccoon City this month. So who done it? Who's been munching on man steak? Again, it's super inappropriate to talk about someone who just died. We hear at news comment of a gnawing feeling that the so-called cannibal disease patient Spencer Memorial has been providing free treatment for since August might not be settling for just the cafeteria food. Our reporters have infiltrated Spencer Memorial. Ask the tough questions and come back with horror stories that will make your stomach royal. Turn the page for the scoop. <clears throat> and then you can't turn the page, so you can't get the scoop. Jill doesn't care, but she does care that they killed him is on sale here. Because she's read it and she knows it's a good book. Jill, it's me again. You topside yet? Working on it. So what's the plan? The old tanks got me clearing the tracks. You mind getting the subway infrastructure back online? And how do I do that? Let's start by restoring power. I'll navigate you to the substation once you hit the main road. Copy that. Let's do this fast. Yeah, let's do this fast. Providing there's no movie posters, I can plow through this in no time. Okay, so some of this stuff... This stuff's still pretty much in the place where it was... Uh, Yeah, I know. Okay. Alright, so I need lock picks for these yellow locks, obviously. That makes sense. They were dotted all around in the demo and they, they were they were like too obviously not not interactable. Put a knife in it. <clears throat> okay. I like how this it doesn't... It almost looks like I could get this working if I plug in the right... whatever it is. Yeah, I was going to say, it just gives me no indication whatsoever what that what I should be plugging in there, but whatever. Uh, so that's herbs. Green, green, and green equals full health. Green and red equals full health. No, don't go under. I... It's gonna clear out the room first, but whatever. More survivors. We've gotta get that train moving. Oh good. I can now quick step. Wee. So an interesting thing about the demo is that um there were twenty Mr. Charlie statues. And in order to unlock all of those Mr. Charlie statues, one of the things you had to do was get 30? 25 perfect dodges. And the easiest person to do the perfect dodge against was uh, Nemesis. So, I 
I, I, I've had quite a bit of practice in dodging Nemesis. Um, so, I mean, he's still going to be a problem when there's, like, other zombies around. And, um... Alright, so when there's only one zombie... So skittish. I'm not really like she's she's doing that on her own. I'm not pressing buttons to make her flop around like that. But yeah, that's when there's one zombie zone. That's the safest way to take care of it. Take off one of its legs so it can't get stabbed back up, and then stab it in the back until it uh well stops. So is this whole section gonna play out pretty much like the demo then, I guess was handy because I know more or less what to do. And the ship's ammo, yep. And that means there should be Yeah, there's a guy here and a guy there. So shoot him in the head. Yeah, so that's the problem with shooting them in the head, is that they are, uh, it's, well, it's hard. Because time suck. So, assuming this works in the same way as it did in Resident Evil 2, um, God, I've got so little health, uh, ammo. Zombies have a uh, fixed amount of health, and shooting them in the head doesn't actually take off more damage. What it can do is do a critical hit, which causes uh, instant death. But the counter for that is that zombies are really hard to shoot. So yeah, you were one of the zombies I had to shoot. You didn't. He was one of the special zombies you had to kill in order to... If I shoot you here, I wonder what happens. I wonder if he still does something special. So I can actually get in the toy store now, which is cool. But again, I need a... I need a lockpick. It must be a lockpick. Yeah, the Mr. Charlie thing's there as well. I wonder if any of the stuff that you had to do in the demo to get the Mr. Charlie stuff to appear actually works. Be interesting. So yeah, any bolt cutters for this. You guys are going to knock that over in a second. But fortunately, there's a lovely explosive barrel here. Carlos, I've reached the main avenue. Which way do I go? See a big transmission tower? That's the substation. You'll have to circle around through an alley to your right to get there. You Don't mean the on. alley that's on fire? Maybe. Surely a tall drink of water like yourself can put out a few. Flames. Fuck you. It's a good joke. Gotta put this out. Yeah, so I need the hose and then so we'll come back for a second. So these guys should Yeah, this is all all going according to the demo. But I had a I think I had a bit more ammo in the demo, so I was feeling a bit more confident. But no matter, let's just wait for them to get a bit closer. There we go. Crispy. Now, there was a reason to kill you guys before, because there was a Mr. Charlie statue on the car there. But I don't see it, so I'm just gonna I'm gonna leave you guys alive. Well, undead. Because I have six bullets, and I don't want to waste three. I'm pretty sure you guys are a one-hit kill each, but I don't want to waste three of them on you. But I will do. So let 
much key, you dudes. Yeah, let's go up over here, and then I'm gonna nip into here because there's a safe room. And have a lockpick. Okay. If I click on them. Yeah. Simple lock. Yeah, good. If I click on them, it'll tell me. Ooh, so you're new. And then you're that. So is this supposed to go... Alright, well, if it is, there's a chest. Oh, no, no, don't combine it. Just store it. Let's take the gunpowder out. Uh, also, I'm pretty sure my grade doesn't... It doesn't really matter how many times I save, either. I think it's mostly just down to time and possibly damage. Okay, so he was. I knew where he was again because he was in the demo. Ah, bullets. Now you two didn't get up in the uh, demo. I'm hoping that you stay that way. It'd be very nice of you if you just stayed down. Hmm, I do have some spare. I don't have a shotgun yet, so. Okay. Uh. So I do want to go this way. It does mean. There it is, boys. Now it's going to be interesting to see whether the code for the safe that I'm going to go to in a second is the same code. Intentionally stabbed you to activate you, and then ran over you like an idiot. So I wasn't sure if I shot that whilst he was still on the ground whether it would uh, count. Ladder. Ladder down. There we go. Yeah, and this was where good old number twenty, Mr. Charlie, was. I'm hoping that in the normal game it's just like the old uh, Mr. Raccoon statues in Bari 2, and then it's just a case that they will spawn in um, they're, they're just the case that they're in the world, you don't need to do anything you don't need to go out of your way to get them to spawn in like you did in the demo I think that was just a, uh, just a thing to keep you playing the demo, and it certainly worked because I played it way more than I would have done had they uh, not bothered. So, can I remember what the code is? No, but I did take a photo of the code, so I don't have to. <laughs> There's my photo of the code. Did I delete the photo of the code? I deleted the photo of the code. Okay, great, good. Go me. Right, I think it. M I don't know if I need to con hit confirm. No, I don't. I just need to do it. So is it nine? One? Maybe it was eight? One? Seven? No, that's not right. All right, I just have to go. I just have to go and get it the proper way. Drugstore's owner's journal. The new hair tonic from Umbrella is just flying off the shelves. The stuff they make always works wonders, so it's no surprise. I was counting on this and ordered a huge shipment. My instincts are paying off, literally. I just know sales will continue to rise as word gets out. That said, the string of violent incidents on the news has me worried. Then we ought to invest in a good safe to hold all this cash that's rolling in. The new safe is just perfect. Nobody knows the code, not even my wife. It's a secret between me and my beautiful Aqua Cure Queen. She'll never give it up for a thief. Except that I've written it on the poster. 
in a way that's incredibly easy to figure out that it's a code. Other than that, though... Uh, zombie? I know you're in here. There you are. Well, the legs are quite hard to hit as well, actually. So I do need to be careful, because although he can't get up, he can still grab me if I... <laughs> I think I'll just do this ring around the rosy. Oh, I cut both his legs off now. Oh, I'm so sorry, mate. There's an achievement in two for cutting the arms and legs. I wonder if that's still... It's still alive. Um, again, there was a Mr. Freddy. Oh, there he is. Can I get this one with my knife? No. Oh, the demo's helping out quite a lot more than I thought it would be with those uh, Mr. Charlie statues. Don't like it calling Mr. Freddy. Ooh, he's not there. So there's one up here, and one over here, and they're not there anymore. Okay, cool. Uh, so... I know I can trigger all of these dudes at once. Hey, you two. You wanna... I'm gonna stumble over a little bit. Oh, you're coming up the stairs. Now, why did you do that? Yeah, this is this is a bit boring, but it is way safer. I will say. These are all the pro strats I've picked up since. <laughs> since my less than inept no, inept is what I was um, less than adept playthrough of you're all going to get out You're someone's daughter. Well, now you're not anything. <laughs> right, what was I doing? Pharmacy. Left nine, right there. Okay, so that is a different code. Uh, uh, again, I'm gonna just snap a quick photo because I'm terrible at remembering numbers. Again, there's Mr. Freddy hidden under you. I have to go through a whole convoluted stage of. I think you, to get him up, you had to. You have to down Nemesis three times. Get the cop. There we go. I'm gonna make some shotgun ammo. Yeah. 
down Nemesis three times. Get the uh Get a cop. Wait, are you still alive? Oh, I was wrong. You are still. You are still something. But now. Now you're nothing. Okay, good. If you could stay dead, that'd be good. I'm glad I shot your leg off. You were annoying. Right, let's go quickly get this. So what was it? it was right. So this is why I needed to take a photo of it because I'm terrible. Left nine. Right three. Left seven. Nice. Oh, but it's still the same reward. That's cool. I have a red dot. And an achievement. Go me. Yeah, so I mentioned this before. I um, again in the demo. Watch the demo of me playing this game because I've got to. I got to probably reference it a lot. Uh, you know, more so than I already have. Um, the. It, I'm pretty sure the only way to upgrade your weapon was to fight Nemesis, um, because I think apart from two instances. Where you fight Nemesis in Resident in the original Resident Evil 3. Um, he's optional. Yeah, you're new. Leg off. Jesus, why are your legs so sturdy? Get in the trash where you belong, trash zombie. Unfortunately, the knife in this uh, is uh, infinite as well, which is very useful for my <laughs> um, desired gameplay strategy. Because yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna be doing that leg shooting a lot where I can because I'm again if if you've ever play, seen me play one of these games, you'll know I'm not great at the headshots. Generally, anyway, like I'm, you could almost say, bad. I'm bad at the headshots. I think that's a fair assessment, honestly. And he's got a roar. Whoa, okay. I so I can if I got I got to time that properly. I downed him. You dick, you dick, you dick, you dick.